There we go. I'm with uh, Carl Funky at Panera Bread. Panera Bread. And we're just having coffee. He's got his Greek Hebrew portfolio oh, there. Just, just and, up stocks. and Carl, um, we were talking about. Um, oh, share share your story about um, Mark and the and the um, how you Be met Mark. Be yeah. that's oh, a great story. High school student, 1972. Um, Does Mark have a full head of hair at this time? Mark Mark pretty much looks like Mark. You know, he looks like he hasn't. I mean, a little grayer, but Mark has been Mark. Uh, beach evangelism, going through transitions in my life. High school senior. Are you raised in the church? I was raised in a Lutheran church. High school senior, going through transitions, coming out of some bad relationships with friends that are kind of going in a different direction. Mark and Rosie, Mark comes up. I'm sitting on the beach, just kind of enjoying the scenery, sitting by myself. This guy comes up and says, hey, can I have a couple minutes of your time? We're out here talking about our lives and what God's doing in our life, can I, can I talk to you? He said, sure, sit down. So he shares the gospel with me. And there's, there's a whole series of events that took place after Mark talked to me. And uh, I circled back and found out what, what Mark was about. Went to this church called Bible Town. Bible Town. This is in Fort, Fort Myers? This is in Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Boca Raton. So, uh, uh, Mark had a Bible study at his house, and we started going, started making friends. And uh, these are lifelong now, after what, since 40 plus years, still people like keep in contact with. In fact, just recently I connected on Facebook with someone. But um, Mark was influential in just setting a tempo and direction, a different direction than where my life is headed. So he's kind of your mentor? Yes. Like last yeah. night we were talking about right, mentors. Right, right, right. Well, he's, Mark set an example of a marriage. Mark was married, I was a high school kid. I was going into college. And uh, Mark was the, the big brother. That, uh, the big brother you never wanted. I never had. I was always the old, oldest child. So, uh, but it was, it was. Uh, uh, I think that the Lord put Mark there. So then you, he went out to Talbot. Right. I went to Moody. You went to Moody for your undergraduate. Undergraduate work. Finished. Got my BA from Moody. Then I came out to Talbot in 1979. After him. After Mark. So After he's Mark Rudd had already graduated by then. So he's recommending Talbot. He's saying, hey, it's well, a good place. I don't think he, I'm not sure whether Mark didn't even push it. And then you lost track of each other then just last year? Um, we, no, we, we connected off and on. Mark went up to Canada for a while. And uh, uh, Mark and I connected probably in the early 90s. Then we lost track of each other. And then just recently, I found out he was a pastor of a church here in La Habra. What do you get out of the Bible study? Why do you come? What's the point? If, someone, if someone's watching this and they're not part of it, you recommend it? I think if you're seeking to know God and to fellowship with other Christians, and you want a place where you can learn and share and be heard, I think that's a good place to, to attend for any guy. Carl, be honest, does the dessert play a part of your decision on Thursday night? I'm sorry, what? Does the dessert play a part in your decision to show it? Not really. <laughs> Not really. It, uh, no, it's, it's the fellowship. And it's the renewal. It's the renewal. Um, I think Bible study and fellowship go hand in hand. Because you're discovering. You're looking, you're examining your life. And it's a lifelong process. You're examining your life as to where am I at? Carl, Tom has been spreading the rumor that you actually work for the NSA and you've been eavesdropping on our men's uh, texts and phone conversations. Is, any, is there any truth to that? Yes, there is truth, truth to that. Truth that. You're, truth. you're under oath, Carl. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know what they hidden by that Swiss bank account, Jim. What? <laughs> I knew it. Carl, what tip as, how old are you? 60. As a 60 year old, if there's a 30 year old or a 40 year old watching this, what, looking back on your life, what tip would you give as a mentor? What tip would you be? What would you, um, would you give? 